Wagging tails, little fluffy paws, and unconditional love are just some of the characteristics that make animals popular additions to our lives. But a pet is much more than a household accessory. They are part of the family. We feed them, tend to them when they are sick, and provide a warm, loving home for them to live. This can become a challenging responsibility while being in the military. With temporary duty assignments, deployments, and permanent changes in station, having a four-legged family member takes advanced planning and coordination. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Stacy Malace, who recently PCS'd with her pets, describes her experience. Um, it was pretty easy. It was a little laborious. It took about three months to get everything together that we needed to get together. There's a lot of paperwork that you need to fill out, but it being labor intensive, it was definitely worth being able to bring our animals with us. Once you find out where you are moving, you will want to contact your local veterinarian to coordinate the necessary documents needed for pet travel. You also need to contact your airline to coordinate if your pet will fly in cabin or as cargo and their pet carrier policies. Be sure to research the country's pet import laws and your future bases regulations. For example, when moving to Japan, animals are required to undergo a quarantine, and many overseas bases have a two-pet role for base housing. If you are preparing for a TDY or deployment, make sure you have a place for your pet to live while you are gone. If you can't leave them with a friend or family member, try researching local pet boarding facilities. Um, we offer long-term boarding, short-term boarding for the military. At the long-term stays, we have a very, very low rate for them and um, trying to set up a camera to where you can go online and see your animal.